And welcome back to the Big Doctor Who Poll! I am Joshua Snares, and today we'll be counting down the stories you love and love to hate. The results of this countdown is sourced by you, the audience. Today, we'll be focusing on the seventh Doctor, played by Sylvester McCoy. And, as a bonus, at the end, we'll be showcasing the eighth Doctor, played by Paul McGann. The Doctor faces the Rani again as she experiments on the greatest minds from history. During the after party, Sylvester McCoy and Kate O'Mara suggested to John Nathan Turner if they could do a story together with pirates. Sadly, nothing became of this. A battle between aliens occurs at a Welsh holiday destination. Bonnie Langford originally agreed to stay until halfway through the next season, but John Nathan Turner thought leaving early in a series wouldn't be as good and decided to have a leave at the end of Dragonfire. Paradise Towers offers its residents eternal happiness, but what lives in the basements is guaranteed to bring doom. A sequel for the story was considered, with the Kangs being transported to a boarding school. The writer, Stephen Wyatt, would later write The Greatest Show in the Galaxy instead. Neo-Nazis and a sorceress from another time wish to use the Cybermen for their own evil plans. The writer, Kevin Clark, originally wanted to reveal the Doctor to be a god, or a god-like figure, and John Nathan Turner didn't want to include religion in Doctor Who, therefore it wasn't used. The Doctor meets a new friend in Ace and an old one in Glitz on Iceworld. The character of Ace was originally called Alf. Sophie Aldred originally auditioned for the role of Ray in Delta and the Bannerman. On Terra Alpha, it is illegal to be unhappy, and anyone disobeying this rule will face the punishment of the Candyman. Originally, the Candyman was going to be more human looking, but was decided by production to make him more robotic. His design was later accused of copyright infringement due to being similar to Bertie Bassett. Morgane plans on taking Excalibur and will use anything to get what she wants. The TARDIS walls were junked after filming The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, so it was decided to build a simple set instead, since it only appeared in this one scene in the entire season. The Doctor takes Ace to a house that terrified her, and forces her to face her fear, or is there something else going on? This serial was the final to be filmed in the original series, and at this point, it was clear that Doctor Who would be on hiatus or cancelled. The Psychic Circus isn't exactly what it seems. Asbestos was found in Television Center, and all of the studio spaces were shut down on the dates when this serial was to be filmed. Thankfully, they set up a circus tent in a car park and filmed the interiors there, instead of the serial being cancelled. Ace returns to her hometown where they discover cheetah people have been taking her friends away. Originally, the cheetah people were supposed to just have red glowing eyes and fangs. Instead, they had a full body costume with fur. Fenric, a sentient being older than the universe, is trying to break free and is using Ace to do it. Originally, this story was to be broadcast before Ghostlight, and there is a scene that still survives where Ace tells the Doctor about a house that scared her, even though they visited it in the last adventure. The Travellers return to 1963 where everything began, to face off the Doctor's greatest enemy. Originally the writer Ben Aronovich was going to include the Thals and the Ogrons, but decided it would overcomplicate the plot. The Doctor lands in San Francisco on New Year's Eve and faces off one of his greatest enemies, but can he remember who he is? Some of the names put up to play the Doctor included Peter Capaldi, Rowan Atkinson, Hugh Grant and John Hurt. All of these actors went on to play the Doctor either in a parody or on the show. The Doctor is avoiding getting involved in the Time War, and when he decides he cannot sit by, he forces a regeneration with the help of the Sisterhood of Khan. Stephen Moffat wished to show the beginning of the War Doctor, and also show the end of the Eighth Doctor, and decided this mini-episode would be the best way to do both. Don't forget to subscribe to the official Josh Nair's YouTube channel.